Well, I know that I've been standing around for the last few minutes. Let's make sure everything's working right. All right. My wire maintenance is a little too tight. Whoops. All right. Let's go shoot some machines. Is my control set to for this game? Oh, new computer, everything changed. Great. What's up, Samikins? Welcome in. Just messing with some settings. I'm going to be doing that a good bit for the first part of this. Maybe I should get my freaking arrow back. More stuff to shoot. <laughs> lunch time. I guess we need to end your lunch then. I don't like hoppers. Yeah, when Joe asked me about it coming back to streaming, and I was like, yeah, I need to get a new streaming PC. I actually already had it. I just hadn't figured out <coughs> which uh, computer crash was taking first. And then we had to set it all up. And audio. Oh, my God, that was a bad day. Let's see what this lady wants. Apparently gonna listen to some rumors. You ever hear of Machine Strike, Red? It's a Tanakh game. Very strategic, I hear. It's starting to make its way east. I've been thinking of asking my buddy Salma over in Chainscrape to teach me. Sounds like fun. Maybe I'll give it a try sometime. Been using that bow? Oh shit. That's the wrong bow. Let's use this one. That one aims so much faster. Oh, yeah, sure it is. Oh shit. Right. Is he gonna get stepped on? Yes, he did. Oh, crap. Was to collect this big horn sheep. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Alright, so I, I just saw something. Uh, well, not just saw, but Seven Days to Die Can't has a new. Um, what is it? Like, is it the 1.0, like the big drop? They finally like dropped like the main game or some shit like that. Wait, wait, Zong. The blight's taking over the Atari fields. I have to get Guy up and running. <coughs> Don't kill that guy, cause he's friendly. I should probably map V somewhere to the mouse. One second. Step back this way, jackass. Actually, we don't have six weapons, so I'm gonna move that forward. V can go here. That can go back to default. Yes. Huh, I might have to get back in there and take a look at it. Land God power. The Atari's land gods. Can't kill them though. Fields with light. Looks like they're still following the programming. You know, in every other game, when you shoot a beehive with a couple of arrows, it falls to the ground. I think it happens how it happens in, in Green Hell, I think. I know there's another game I play where if you shoot the beehive, it falls to the ground, you pick it up. I still remember which one it is. Hey, how goes it? Hi, how you doing? There's Varl and Zell. Alright, let's get all these little quests so we can knock them all out whenever I don't feel like it. Yay. Keep your guard up if you're heading southwest of Caruso. Really? We have reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Huh. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. Interesting. I'm almost curious Seems what like this new rig would do. Crash got me a new PC for our anniversary. I've got to make her gifts. I gotta get the lumber on uh, Saturday or Sunday. We we'll get the nice lumber, not the, not the everyday stuff. We we'll get her some like pieces of oak or something like that. And singing. Maybe I can get a Does piece of wood that's so pretty I don't have to stain it. I can just put the resin design in it. I couldn't have done polyurethane after sanding it. Always the standard needs to be polyurethane. I plan on making her three pieces, including in one with lights. Because I did so one with lights for a streamer enough. friend of mine, and it came out pretty Grand damn Darfar good. Still hasn't emerged, and he loved it. It's sitting behind him right now while he streams. Force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of huh. many false notes. Your request has exposed well, deep divisions have it turned on right now for the chorus itself. Reason. And the tribe. But, yeah. Alright, hold on. Yes, 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 yes. Cool, cool. I've listened to all this in the past because so this is my first time playing it. I did play this on PS5 when I had a PS5 what for like two months. Your request. So I could play this and Ghost then of Tsushima, which are now both it? on this PC because they're both ready. with Steam. But don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Ghost is another fun one, too. Meetings I might stream like that as well. Go on for days. <sighs> All right. I finally beat Subnautica. Then maybe I should resupply like last first. Week. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? We're working on below zero right now. Aloy can be pretty convincing. Yeah, I can get that one finished. We'll see. Do what you need to playing prepare. Timberborn a good bit. Me and Crash did play pretty well on our Steam decks. So we can lay in the bed because we had this new uh, the sleep, the nectar sleep bed where the, the mattress, like the, the base, all adjusts and shit. It's really nice. We sit in there and watch TV, playing with the Steam decks and stuff. Let me go up there and see what that green person is. What? Oh, that's mustache. Oh shit, I lost you guys. Where'd you go? Oh, never mind. He's all over online. Later, dude. Oh yeah, I was just trying to get Subnautica beat. Like, I finished, like, actually beat Subnautica and actually, like, completed it correctly. And now I'm playing Sub-Zero. Also, too, it's just a beautiful game. And it's a great way so for me to, um, are true. You must invoke be the uh, an anxiety or panic attack. Even though last night when I was playing, I was in the sea truck door. and I was fighting a Shadow Leviathan and I was kicking its ass. Her trip to the hunting ground? You 
you while hunting for Kyanite in the Crystal Cavern. Like yourself could handle it was the great fun. There. It was good. Maybe I'll see you there. Yes, I see that. <laughs> yes, I know I need to go that way. He looks like he's having a bad day, him and his hat. That's not a hat. That's just a rug that they put on top of their head and they put a little rope around it and hat. That's what that one is anyway. Little rug, see? Little rug. It's a little rug. Alright. Go over this way. And I'm also thinking about restarting my Etsy store, but doing it to where I do the flowers that I you know, those flowers I put on the wall with the resin and everything. I don't I think I'm gonna do it with those. So the singing just and keeps make, going. Like, Anywhere from three to five of the twelve different designs I have, and have them pre-made, and that way people order them, I can pack them up and ship them. They ship really easily because they're really hard to destroy. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. I think I'm missing one or two subnautica achievements, and I don't know how many of the blow zero ones I have. I'm pretty sure it's less than half. I will tell you this: I've been playing it very differently. My bases are small and simple. Like in Subnautica, there was two moon pools because I did I did two sea glides, and then off the moon pool was one multi-purpose room for the water filtration, so I can get salt whenever I need it. And the other side coming off of that was the scanner room. That was it. And below zero, I have a large room since the multi-purpose room wouldn't give me enough quite enough storage because I in the per in Subnautica I use the Cyclops for storage. I didn't right, actually talk to build them. a base for storage. I put all my stuff in the Cyclops. It was a floating base. It was great. And you can't do that in Subnautica Below Zero because the, even the storage modules on the sea truck, they don't have that much storage. So I built a large room. I put, big, I put the glass dome over the top and some of the red glowing plants growing right up on top of that. So at night with the lights turned off, it glows right into the, uh, into the sleeping area, so to speak. Oh yeah, your dad building bases. I know there was some guy, he uh, was doing it in creative mode and he ran a clear tube, you know, the clear glass tube that they have through every biome in the game. And they had another guy that had your it go from cave. the very deepest There's area, the lava lakes, up to the surface. If I can get and it, he could literally run through his base and the Nora. from there and all the way to the surface. And they did this all in creative because that would take forever in real game. What you want. Plus, not to mention, in a real game, your base no would fall apart the because cave. the structural stability or whatever would be too low. God, who but the cave and did not it still looked pretty cool to see that, even the if, even if it was creative. The, the guy broken. said he put out markers to see where he had to kind of aim each section of the base. Nothing it took him almost an hour just putting out the markers. What, why is the screen flashing? And become fertile well, I've seen that, right? The little blinks that are happening, like, right here. This is the natural order. No, I, I know there's a mod until you become out there for Subnautica Below Zero to let, to let you play Literally? multiplayer, but I've not seen any other mods. I really haven't so looked into the mods the too much. Ignorant of I was only a deal like about Timberborn. They're including mods in their next, next update. It's actually going to be mods are going to be built into the game. Please. I've been having fun with that one. Remember how she brought peace to Ray? Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah, by inviting you to break our tradition, should we change our ways? You guys are the Switzerland of this video game. Shut up and accept the help. Yay! Out the gate and around. Apparently, we're going this way. What mod is the first one? I know I saw the, the the multiplayer mod I saw was for Below Zero. What mod are you talking about? You're talking about the, the Gargantian Leviathan mod? Fighting in the fields ahead. Let me just say, when I played the first game and I was down in the lava area, I encountered and had to deal with all three of the sea dragons at one point or another. It's great fun. Oh, you got some 
Oh, I drove right by it. As I drove by it, the ghost of Leviathan touched my tail, and I started doing this. It was great. And he was pushing me while I was trying to drive forward, and I was nosing down. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Flipped to a camera, looked towards the back, and there he is pushing the, the propeller up. So I had to basically shut everything down and make him go away. Great fun. What else I have to kill? Some of these remember where the weak spots are, so I don't have to scan them. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? I'm right. Um, yeah. That is a shot you normally wouldn't take in real life. Y'all keep fighting. I'm gonna uh, search. In the crash, and I checked out that uh, survival fountain of youth. There's a demo out for it. It's all right. I hit the crit spot. Setting so I can feel overpowered that fire. Right. Hold on, let me collect this. Machines are everywhere. Yeah, this is more shit for me to shoot. More machines. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. Yeah, Crash and I, There's we played Sunken Lamp like 30 minutes. Oh God, first came out, we didn't like it, so we got our money back for it. That's aim assist on that one, because I definitely didn't hit the crit spot there. I missed. Yeah, I downloaded that again and then changed PCs and didn't re-download it again after that. Because eh, maybe though maybe when they come out with more like when they Is this still in early access? Where's that noise coming from? Maybe I have, maybe the last time I played it was early access. I think the last time I played was right after the golf cart came out. It's been a while. I'm gonna search this big thing. Let's try this game. Eventually, I'll get to have a flying uh, machine that's under my control. It'll lead us to the cordon. That's when it's fun to travel around the game when you can fly everywhere. More machines. We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Stand up. <laughs> Critical part, all that. Hey, 
uh, we're fighting. I'm Shoot that. Glider launcher? What's that? See, right. I've missed. So wait, they basically they implemented a new spiel where you can launch the glider from like your camp area versus having to just jump off of a mountain. That sounds fun. Give me this. This is a fight. Big gun. See, I haven't played in a while. Crash and I played Destiny 2 for a good bit. We kind of got... I don't we got bored of it, but we kind of did. Oh, the back... It now goes in the backpack? Oh, my gosh. See that? Yeah. Big changes since I played. So, basically, the game came out as far as, like, the 1.0 launch after I stopped playing. So, let's play again. So I think I'll play from, like, the beginning. You could there. go faster if you put so down the big gun. Broke through. Who care? What happened to the cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Let me get closer and shoot him in the tail. Or they'll kill before I get there. Good job, you guys. What's up with the shotgun? Oh, this feeling damp. Right on fine. The cordon. Oh, what's left of it? So many deaths. There will be more when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into the cave. <laughs> Let's have fun. armor there. Some sort of outfit. What's that? Vertical shock shot. Oh, okay, cool. Here. Did I get clothing just now? I did. Give her the funny hat. I mean, now this will do some damage. Rug. I can't bring the big gun in there. Oh, you have got to be shitting me. Do with bow and arrow. Uh, kind of wall. Touch the shiny walls. Oh, 
crap. When you try to stop and your character's momentum just slides slightly off the edge. She forgot you had to jump. Here I come. Gotta love the puppeting in some of these games. Jump again. Alright, don't fall off the there we go. You know, we try to blame the puppeting, but it's actually just me screwing up. Why go this way? I want to go that way. Oh, never mind, I need to. Like a cauldron door. What up, army guy? How you doing, man? Understand what's going on in there. You're gonna need one of these. In the temple, just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah. Listen, the machines we've been fighting are different, more dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead and be ready for anything. Machines. Let's see, stealth or Not speed? Like any seen before. Let's go speed. Machines in here. Right behind. Oops. Jack. Yeah, both of them right there attacks me in the back. Oh damn. So this is a cauldron. I remember working. I think it sucks. It looks like one, but if the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired too. Thing I said, it wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called a Festus. Well, that's the that's the important part. It's like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. Place. This place was meant for the land. 
set foot in it. But I had to, right? To help you so, with So, can you stand on that panel? Oh. You did the right thing, so. Like this? Good. Stay there. Now we wait. Doing good. Crash that work. Same as sleep. What's that thing beyond the wall? She's kind of like a little turtle. Floor panel. But I can't shift the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to win the thing. Go up. You know you want to go up. Thank you, Aloy. Holy crud. Working on it. <sighs> Can't fit the crate through that opening. Got a new one. Crash got me a new one for our anniversary. And there wasn't a fix in the other one. It was. It was aft. I think I can get the crate with that shield. But I'll have to go around. Yeah, I mean. 